I'm pretty sure most of you out there know the popular franchise, Sonic the Hedgehog, well. Did you know that Sonic's first appearance was in Sega's Rad Mobile Coin-Op? I didn't. Think so since most people believe that Sonic's first game was his first appearance, well. There was an unreleased final version of Sonic the Hedgehog, which was meant to be the last. Game to feature Sonic in which was in development in 2003. The reason why the version was. Never released, because all of the programmers complained to Raymond Lemire that the game. Would cause the children to get nightmares. To what I remembered, only a few people played. The final version including me. The title screen remained unchanged except that Sega. 1991 was now replaced with Sega 2003 including a text above it stating final version. When I started playing, everything seemed normal and unchanged like with the title screen. Except when I jumped on the enemies, no animals come out and the color of the smoke was black, but looked a little gray, if it were inverted. Another strange thing is in the original version, if you collected plenty of rings in Act 1 and 2 in any of the zones, a giant ring would appear at the end of the level hovering in mid-air, where you jump into it, it would take you to a special stage where you can get an emerald, if you were successful. Not hitting any of the goal spheres which in this version, no version of that ring appeared at the end, even though I had more than 40 rings. Now I was in Act 2, again. Nothing much changed, then that's when I reached the boss in Act 3. When I defeated Dr. Eggman, Dr. Eggman's ship exploded, leaving Eggman flying in mid-air, then falling on his head. When he got up, you could see a scratch on Dr. Eggman's forehead, that's when Dr. Eggman began crying and putted both of his hands over his eyes, and sat back down like if he was a child. In fact, Dr. Eggman's cry mixed with an actual child's cry which both of them sounded very realistic. After 30 seconds, the screen began fading into static. Including a scream from Majora's Mask for 2 seconds, until the screaming and the static stopped, cutting to a gruesome scene in Green Hill Zone, which had a black sky, no clouds. At all, the water's color was replaced with blood red and the grass was gray and covered in blood. The gruesome part about the scene was Sonic, he was laying on the grass, dead. His head was turned towards the camera and he was completely gray, his eyes were missing. And blood ran from his eyes down his face, a very loud ambience was playing. This lasted for six seconds, until static appeared for a split second. Then it cut to the same scene. This time, Sonic was standing up, looking at the camera with his body turned towards it. This lasted for one minute, until his mouth opened and closed repeatedly if he was talking. But words came out, then he stopped. He kept looking at the camera for another minute. Until it cuts to Green Hill Zone Act 4. The background was back to normal, but the timer. And the scorekeeper was missing. This time, I was playing as Tails, two questions popped. Into my mind, one what's Green Hill Act 4? From what I gathered, all zones only have three acts. In them too. What's Tails doing here, and why am I playing as him? Sadly, I couldn't think. Up a guess why Tails is here. The act was pretty much the same as Act 1, this time, there. Were no enemies. There were only animals scattered everywhere which were hopping up and. Down like in the ending. It seemed happy at first, but when I reached the end of the level. The screen cut to static for two seconds. Then it cut to the exact same gruesome scene. Before Act 4, but this time, instead of Sonic, it was, Tails. He was hanging from a news. He was in perfect state except he had no pupils, this lasted for an hour, I thought. It was the end of the game, so I left my seat to turn off the Genesis and eject the Fizzer version of the game, but just before I could do it, the same Sonic appeared on the screen, his head was the only part of him visible, a scream from a woman could be heard. Which was very loud that it almost damaged my eardrums, as soon as I heard it, I immediately turned the Sega Genesis off since I was next to it, then I ejected the game from my Genesis and drove at a nearby river and threw the cartridge into the water, ever. Since I played the game, I couldn't sleep because I knew I was going to have nightmares. 
if someone, or the one of the few people who own it, still have it and haven't played it. Yet, don't play the game, contact me as soon as possible, if you've played the game, it was your own risk.